Hi. So in this video, what we're going to do is solve some problems using bar models. This is slightly different from a previous video where we were just drawing the bar models. And it's also slightly different to a video that's coming up where we're solving equations. So this video sits right in between the two of those videos. And you can link to both of them now by clicking on the bubbles that have just appeared. Meanwhile, get out your notebook and pencil because it's time to start drawing some very neat bar models. Here's the first one. It says, I'm thinking of a number, and when I add 15 to it, the answer I get is 27. So this will be the number that I'm thinking of, x. This will be the 15 that I've added. I can write that in algebra like this. But the difference this time is that with this bar model, we are told what the answer comes to. It comes to 27. And I can fill that in and make it an equation now. x plus 15 equals 27. What I hope the bar model does is show you that the two of these together will make 27. So if I take one of them away, if I take the 15 away, I'm left with this bit here, which is x. So I've taken away 15 and I'm left with x. In other words, x is 27 take away 15. So that bit is 27 take away 15 now, and therefore x equals 12. If we do a quick substitution, it's always worth checking your answer at the end. Substitute x for 12. We get 12 plus 15 is 27. Yep, so in that case, x must have been 12. Right, in this one, I'm thinking of a number, and when I multiply it by 6, the answer is 42. So if I annotate the bar model like this, this will be x. I multiply it by 6, and the final answer is 42. x times 6 is 42. But there's another way to look at that, which is that 42 divided by 6 equal parts is x, or x is 42 divided by 6, which is 7. So x equals 7. Quick check by substituting x for 7. 7 times 6 is 42. Therefore, yep, x is indeed 7. Two very similar looking examples, but with a subtle difference. So the, in the first one, I'm thinking of a number, and I take away 10 from it. Here's the 10 that we're taking away. But in this one, I'm actually taking away the x, and it's the 25 that I'm taking away the x from. Over here, the answer that you get when you do the subtraction is 25, and over here, the answer you get when you do the subtraction is 10. So slightly different, and that's why we've got slightly different bar models, and a slightly different way of working out the answer. Right, well again what I want the bar model to show you is that x take away 10 is 25 so if I take away 10 I get left with 25 what you can also see from the bar model is that the whole thing which is x is 25 and 10 together so what's happening algebraically well we've got x take away 10 is 25, but also x is 25 add 10. In other words, x is 35. Does that work? If I take out the x and put in 35, yeah, 35 take away 10 does give me 25, so that is right. Over on the right hand side, 25 take away x is 10. And hopefully you can see from the bar model that if I just took away 10 from 25, I would get x. 25 take away 10 is x. What's happening algebraically? x, 25 actually, I should start with, take away x is 10. But another way to look at that is if I do 25 take away 10, I get x. So x equals 25 take away 10. And x, therefore, equals 15. Does it? Well, there's one way to check, which is to put 15 in here 
25 taking 15 yeah 10 perfect okay we are flying through these I've got one more single step problem I'm thinking of a number and when I divide it by 8 the answer I get is 5 so all of this is the number that I'm thinking of to start with and when I've divided it by 8 I get 5 let's just check 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yeah so that's one way to look at it x divided by 8 is 5 but the other way to look at it would be that 5 times 8 is x x is 5 times 8 so x equals 40 x equals 40 and I can check that by putting 40 up here and just redoing the calculation 40 divided by 8 is indeed 5 so 40 is right they were all one step problems here's a couple of two step problems and then we'll do a three step problem just for, to finish off with some challenge I'm thinking of a number and I times it by 4 and then add 5 so that's x and that's 5 what have we done algebraically we've done 4x add 5 and the total comes to 53 so that equals 53 with a two-step problem we'll need to do two steps to solve it and we'll need to do the ones that we did to start with in reverse order and not only that we'll need to do the inverse of them we'll need to do the exact opposite so what were the two steps that we did well the first step was times by 4 and the second step was to add 5 so in reverse order we'll do the inverse instead of adding 5 we'll take away 5 that will be the first thing we do and then the second thing that we do will be to divide by 4 because that's the inverse of times by 4 hopefully the bar model will show you what's going on if I take away 5 you're left with four lots of x okay and four lots of x will equal 53 take away 5 which is 48 so these four red rectangles these four lots of x equal 48 I then need to do 48 divided by 4 to work out what x is because you can look at it two ways x times 4 is 48 or 48 divided by 4 is x so x equals 48 divided by 4 x therefore equals 12 and you can quickly check that if x is 12 when you times it by 4 and then add 5 you do indeed get 53 that whole bit is 53 great so that was correct x equals 12 in this one I add a number I add 5 onto the number that I'm thinking of so that's x that's 5 and then times the whole thing by 4 and you get that and then all of that is 52 the two steps that took me that got me to 52 first one was add 5 second one was times by 4 the exact opposite order of these two actually so in reverse what we need to do is the inverse of this one divide by 4 and then take away 5 so if I was going to divide this by 4 what I could do is divide by 2 and that leaves me with these and then divide by 2 again and that leaves me with that I'll need to do the same to 52 52 needs to be divided by 4 as well actually 52 divided by 4 what does that give me? 13 so in other words this bit is worth 13 52 divided by 4 is 13 and I've done the dividing by 4 I'll now need to take away 5 take away 5 and that leaves you with x so it's not 13 now it's 
13 take away 5. In other words, it's 8. What's just happened algebraically? Well, to start with, what we should do is x add 5 times by 4. And that came to 52. Then we divided by 4. So we got x plus 5 equals 13. And then we took away 5, and we got x equals 8. Quick check. If this is 8, and then you add 5, you get 13. And then when you times that by 4, you get 52. So I think we are almost certainly correct. OK, what am I doing? I'm trying to double that. Something like that, but with less of this mess down the bottom. <laughs> OK, yeah, the answer is 8. Next one, and last one, three-step problem. I'm thinking of a number, and I times it by 3, and then I take away 5. So let each of these blue boxes be x times it by 3, 1, 2, 3, and then take away 5. That bit is 5. Then double the whole thing. This is where the tricky part comes in. Double the whole lot, so we need to represent it like this. And it's this bit here that I'm about to highlight, up to here and down to here, that is 44. That bit is 44, because remember, it's after we've taken away 5 that we double it. So this up to here is 44, and it includes the top row as well. What were the three steps that we took to get there? First one, times by 3. Second one, take away 5. Third one, times by 2. So in reverse order, divide by 2, add 5, divide by 3. Okay, well let's do that then. First of all, divide by 2. So dividing by 2 would give me just half of what I had. And instead of that all being 44, I now need to half that, so this bit up to here is 22. Okay, so I've divided by 2. Now I need to add the 5 back on. So adding 5 back on will give me that and in that case, all of that, so 22 add 5 is 27. So all of this now comes to 27. This is 27. And the final step is to divide by 3. So dividing by 3 will give me just that part there. And I will lose, oh, I will lose those two. And this is 27 divided by 3, which is 9. So x equals 9. What has happened algebraically? Well, we started with x, times it by 3, and took away 5, and then times the whole lot by 2. And that answer came to 44. Then we divided by 2, so you got 3x take away 5 equals 22. Then we added 5, so we got 3x equals 27, and then we divided by 3, so we get x equals 9. There we go. All done. So to leave you with, I thought I'd give you three questions, and for each of them you need to draw a bar model and work out the number that I was thinking of. I want to see these neatly drawn in your notebooks with a pencil and a ruler. First one, just I'll go over them, and then I'll pause the video and you can rewind and play as much as you need. I'm thinking of a number and I add 6 to it, the answer is 45. Second one, I'm thinking of a number and I take away 20 from it, the answer is 62. And then for the last one, I'm thinking of a number and I times it by 3 and then add 10, the answer is 46. All of those, please draw a bar model, work out the number that I was thinking of. If you hover over each of these three rectangles, the orange one, the blue one and the yellow one, you can click on them and it will take you back to the part of the video where you'll see the example to help you. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye.